Mm. I'm gonna do a lot of editing on this video. What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has actually been a minute since I have filmed because I've been just using like pre-filmed stuff. And so, yeah, so we're just gonna get started and hope I'm not awkward because like I said, it's been a minute since I've actually filmed. So what I'm here to talk about today is what I learned from getting a beach wave perm. So as you guys can see, this is all curly now and I chopped off like six inches worth of my hair. <laughs> it was a bit of a shock, honestly. I hadn't had this short of hair since I was probably like seven. Um, but this is how it turned out. Maybe I'll like turn around and like, show you guys the back. It's probably like a little bit crazy, but what curls aren't. <laughs> um, so I have always had stick straight hair my entire life. If you guys have watched my curl formers video, I basically say that throughout the whole thing. And that's why I tried curl formers because of like, I want curly hair. And so I just decided, I'm like, I've never had a perm before. I'm just gonna go for it. Excuse my language. <laughs> So I went to the salon because they want you to always do a consultation beforehand because in situations like me, my hair is highly processed because this blonde is not natural blonde. I get it dyed. And so that's why they always want you to do a perm consultation. Did not know that until I got there and they're like, yeah, so we just do this to make sure that like your hair won't fall out once we put the processing stuff in. And I was just like, excuse me, what? Yeah, there is a chance that this kind of chemicals they put in your hair to perm your hair will just like rip your hair out. <laughs> Did not know that either. So learning a lot of things on this trip. Um, <laughs> so that's another reason why I had to cut off six inches worth of hair was because it was just all dead. I was curling it, I just burnt it off and I processed it because it died. And so they're just like, if we don't cut off at least this much, it's probably gonna chemically like pull out of your hair once we pull the perm rods out and I was just like okay like let's just do it I just want some volume I want something different I like I said I had had been this short since I was seven when I left the salon it was a bit more curly up here and it was kind of like these curls but it was up here and I think it's just how my hair took the chemicals of the perm which is also something I wanted to let you guys know, like the way you think your hair is going to turn out with a perm, whether it's a beach wave perm, whether it's like a tight 80s perm, it's not always going to come out even, and it's not always going to come out exactly how you want it. So going in and getting a perm is you have to come out, you just have to go in knowing that it's going to come out probably different than what you expect going in. And that's something I really have to emphasize because like I said, I was, I don't know if I said this actually, I, this is like my second time filming this because I just ranted the last time because I was just, anyways, when I went in, I had this idea that I just wanted this cute like curly corkscrew hair, just like somewhere in between beach wave and like 80s hair, like I said before, I wanted like real curls. And they said, well, we can try that, but with how heavy your hair is naturally and that you said your hair is naturally straight and how much process is, it's probably just gonna come out with like little waves and stuff. And that's exactly what it turned out to be cute little waves. Um, I love it though, honestly, but one of the downsides is I made my hair really dry. And no matter what I put into it, and if you guys have any suggestions, I will take all suggestions and try them. But no matter what I put into it, it just always feels really dry and really kind of damaged because perms are straight up chemicals going into your hair. And you have to know that going in that it's going to basically kind of kill your hair a little bit. Like it's not necessarily just gonna pull all your hair out unless you have really processed hair, but my hair is definitely just like the feel of it. It's not as soft as it used to be. It definitely feels a little bit more damaged. I use BioTrue now in the shower because guys, like I said, I had stick straight hair. You have to do your research before going in and getting a perm because I didn't get any 
like products whatsoever to help me out with this curl because I just I didn't know I just didn't know how much maintenance it was or they told me at the salon like you can use a diffuser to make your curls more bouncy no don't use a blow dryer your hair will come out looking like a troll like one of the little trolls from the movie trolls so don't do that don't learn that one real quick um <laughs> And just, I had to get like gel for my hair and I had to get specific shampoo and conditioner because the shampoo and conditioner I was using, it just doesn't work the same. And so that's something I learned is like you have to get products made specifically for your perm. Well, not necessarily perm, but just for curly hair or else, like I said, you're gonna look like a troll or it's gonna get really tangly or anything like that. Another thing I learned is that you can't brush your hair with a perm. That is a no-go. Do not brush your hair with a perm. Because A, you're either looking like a troll, because when you're brushing it out, it just gets poofier, and that's not what you want. Or you end up ripping your hair out. Like I said, it's just, it's such chemically processed hair that combing it or anything, you really have to do it with your fingers, or else you're gonna be pulling chunks of hair out. <laughs> and, did not know that either. So this has been a real learning process, although it's been really nice. Um, just kind of waking up with volume. I've never had that before either. I also learned when you're wearing your hair up or just like pulling it back, is that you really don't want to do anything like super tight, like, like any kind of like tight ponytail, tight bun, anything like that is still, it's the same kind of thing. It's just gonna pull on your hair and your hair is already so fragile because of the chemicals of the perm that like putting it in continuously tight ponytails is not gonna help for your hair and you're gonna end up with chunks of hair pulling out with, <laughs> the, with the hair band. All of, any girl that knows who has curly hair, like I feel like anytime you take your ponytail out, there's still a huge chunk of hair on it no matter how loose you tie the ponytail, it's just inevitable. It's just what I'm learning. I kinda, it's kind of cool almost because then it's like now I know how everybody is with like straight hair. Like I know the problems with like straight hair where it's just like flat, you can't curl it, just anything. And now with the perm, I'm learning everything with like curly hair. How you have to have like 10 extra products to take care of your curly hair. How you really can't brush your hair. You can't use a blow dryer. It's just like interesting how you end up with like seeing both sides of things which is really cool my number one thing is if you are thinking about getting a perm I'm just gonna summarize everything I've said if you are thinking about getting a perm or a beach wave perm like it comes out beachy it looks cute I feel like I'm always like wanting to go down to the beach with this obviously I live in Utah though so I don't have a beach um, <laughs> but do your research that's my number one thing is do the research on the perm like, especially if you want to get your hair dyed, you can't get your hair dyed for the, you don't want to get it before the perm, because then as soon as you get the perm, your dye of your hair is just going to come out. So whatever you had before you got dyed, it would be just like you wasted $200. And you'll have to wait two weeks after until you can get your hair dyed. This is things I learned during some of my research. I didn't do a lot, obviously. I just kind of went for it. But yeah, just do your research. No, you're gonna have to get a crap ton of products to maintain it because if you haven't had curly hair before, you're not gonna be prepared for this. Um, the second thing is, is knowing that when you go in, it's kind of expecting the unexpected. You can't really go in and expect to have a certain style or curl or wave because it just kind of depends on how your hair takes the product. So that's another thing is like, when you're going in, it's kind of like you're just like, you have to have the mentality you're like, I'm going to be okay with whatever this comes out with because that's it. Or else you get wigs to hide up a terrible perm, that's all I can say. Or I think you can do like a hot oil, like water down on your hair. You just like set hot oil on your hair for like 30 minutes and then it'll help like pull the perm out. Not entirely sure on that. Didn't really look into taking my perm out because it was $175. For this perm. Um, thirdly, is that your maintenance maintenance of it is going to dramatically change from what you're used to. Cause, like I said, I was used to brushing my hair, I was used to blow drying my hair, all of that, and 
can't do that anymore, which is also kind of nice because it takes a little bit out of my routine. Oh, Lou wants to come say hi. Say hi, baby. I think he's just gonna join us for the end of this video. Just know that your hair is gonna come out a little damaged is, <laughs> is another thing. I just wanna let everybody know it's just gonna come out a little dry, a little damaged. It's not gonna be as healthy as it used to be. Um, one of the other things is that if you are thinking about getting a perm, even though I did do it <laughs> with processed hair, I would not recommend anybody with processed hair to do a perm, especially if you're dyeing it blonde or bleaching it or anything like that. Like I said, my hair is now super dry. It doesn't seem as healthy as what it was, and it's already really short. And just like my ends, I can just, it just feels it's not great and or when it's wet it just kind of feels like a wet mop at the bottom because basically because it's processed so if you're thinking about getting a beach wave perm I really hope that you have somewhat of natural hair or if it's at least 85% natural hair they said if you had like small highlights then it wouldn't be as like gross I guess like it still looks cute I'm not gonna say that it doesn't it's just you have to keep all those things in mind before getting a beach wave perm. And I think that's all I have to say. So if you guys have any more questions about beach wave perms or just perms in general, feel free to comment below. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to, you're more than welcome to follow me on social media. And that's it. Bye!